I am this close. I am tired of being an adult. My car insurance ended this month, so it automatically renewed. And when I went to go look at the bill, tell me why it was $100 more than last month. So I give a call to my big pal Jake from State Farm. And I'm like, hey, why'd y'all raise my bill $100? <laughs> what is going on? And they have the audacity to tell me because inflation and because there's a car shortage. So used cars are worth so much money now that they're having to pay a lot of money on their end for people that wreck. But what's that got to do with me? Am I the one crashing? Am I the one your money's going to? No, absolutely not. So why are you charging me more when you should be charging them more? Ah, ah. Why am I being punished for someone else's mistake? I am this close to taking my car back to the dealership and getting a bike. I swear to God, insurance is a scam. Car insurance have become insanely expensive. Last week, when it was time for me to renew my insurance, I was shocked by how much my monthly premium would be. $503. Yes, $503. That's almost a car payment. I don't know about you guys, but this is insane. And keep in mind, I had no accident for the last seven years. So I called the insurance company and I asked the insurance agent, why in the world am my premium going up? despite me not having any accident or claim over the last seven years. Do you know what he told me? Oh no, it's not your fault. Then I was like, okay, if it's not my fault, why then am my premium going up? At first, he gave me the same old excuse that those companies have been using for the last three years. Inflation. I kid you not. He also told me that because so many people have been getting into car accidents in my area, they had to raise rate for everyone else. Oh, and by the way, Repair costs have gone up as well, so they had to charge me more for car insurance. I then replied to the agent, what does this have to do with me? I swear to God, insurance is a scam. I know this is my point of view, but car insurance, the scam. I can't believe my car insurance is the same payment amount as my monthly payment for my Mercedes Benz. Can you believe that shit? Where and why in the hell the f when did it go up? When did car insurance become such a fucking high payment? I am paying over $500 for just car insurance, y'all. I can't believe it, y'all. What the hell happened to all the unused premium that I've been paying for the last seven years? What are they used for? Last time I checked, I'm not the one crashing my car. I swear to God, insurance is a scam. Why am I being punished for other people's mistakes? I know I'm not the only one that feels like this, but I am sick and tired of these insurance companies and I'm going to tell you why. Why every renewal, y'all feel the need to raise my insurance? Like what happened to the safety driver discount? What happened to the I work from home discount? What happened to the I haven't gotten in an accident discount? Then when I call y'all, y'all want to tell me, oh yeah, it's because the prices in your area has gone up. What they got to do with me? What does that have to do with me? Because I have not filed a claim. I have not gotten in an accident. Thank God. But what does that have to do with me? Not a thing. Not a thing, sweetie. I went from $146 when I started with Progressive to $241. That is outrageous. Every renewal, you're raising up my insurance. For what? I have not filed one claim. Like, damn. And then, God forbid, I do get in an accident, and then I do file a claim that y'all want to drop me. Like, be for real. Be for real. And yes, I am very much upset. Now I have to spend my week calling other insurance companies, getting quotes, trying to see if I can get a better rate. Because at this point, I just want to pay $146 like how I was paying from the very beginning. Is that too much to ask for? Now I truly understand why people drive without insurance. I get it. Not saying that I'm going to do it, but I get it. It seems like every excuse is good enough to jack up your rates. And then, what happened to the safety driver discount? 
I haven't gotten any traffic ticket either. And don't believe that crap that guy could tell you about 15 minutes can save you 15% on car insurance. That is not true at all. Or how about State Farm? <laughs> like a good neighbor, State Farm is here. Or Bundle and Save, Liberty Mitchell. Bundle and Save, Liberty Mitchell. It's all a lie. Do you want to know what's the most frustrating part about this? If for whatever reason you get into an accident, guess what? They will raise your premium or simply drop you. Last year, all states left California because California did not allow them to increase their rate. Their insane rate. But guess what, people? All state resumes offering new auto insurance policy in California following rate right approval. So simply put, it was all about blackmailing California into allowing them to jack up premium on California drivers. Now, it seems like those greedy pigs won because those greedy pigs gained a 30% rate increase, which is actually less than what they initially wanted. Back in May of last year, they wanted a 35% increase. Car insurance should be optional. It should not be a requirement. Beautiful when a car incident does happen or accident. It's beautiful. But why am I paying you monthly if I don't use your service monthly? I should only pay you when I need to use your service. I'm so serious. Car insurance is a scam. I'm tired of paying it every month. Car insurance nowadays in 2023, almost 2024, it's close to the same price as a car note. And that should not be the case. I don't think car insurance should be over $100. Do you have GEICO insurance? If so, your policy just went up. If you are in the state of North Carolina and you don't have any traffic tickets or any recent car accidents, GEICO just decided to go ahead and increase your policy solely because they wanted to. How is this company a multi-million dollar, damn near billion dollar business, and you're taking money because repair costs go up. That's not my problem. If I haven't had an accident with you, God forbid, why are you increasing my policy? And even if I did, I literally have a policy that I've been paying you for incidentals. The first time I ignored it because I just joined Geico and I was like, maybe they are like, slowly just trying to increase my insurance policy by a couple of dollars i ignored it then the fact that i started off paying maybe a little under 80 dollars a month now i'm paying close to a hundred dollars and they don't really have any reason on why they increased it and then when i asked the representative hey why did my insurance go up they stated that the information that I was requesting because of my increase was proprietary and they cannot release that information. So why am I with Geico? Don't let these insurance companies take advantage of y'all. Go ahead and shop around for car insurance, home insurance, health insurance. You do not have to stay at one place. And I am realizing that. Now, this is what I hate about insurance. They make you pay for something that you don't use most of the time. And if you dare to ever use it, they penalize you for it by making you pay even more. Isn't that a scam? And car insurance almost costs the same as car payment. I mean, I can see why some people drive without insurance. I don't blame them.